Hey guys, and welcome back to Doctor Who. Thank you so much for joining me here for this next episode. I am so excited, so excited that I actually made myself a coffee. So cheers to me. My cup has cats all over it, which is very on brand. I got to tell you, I think I'm really going to love series four. It has just been amazing so far. I've loved every episode and I cannot wait to see what's in store for us in this one. So uh, let's go. Ratigan Academy. You're going to regret this. Get your hands off me. I'm telling you, Atmos is dangerous. But if you had proof, then you wouldn't be here. Fine. If you don't listen, I'll find someone else who will. The doctor springs to mind. <laughs> What is your destination? You're the last thing I need. Atmos cannot be disabled. Oh. Right then. Take me to unit headquarters. Her name's Joe Nakashima. I'd recommend termination. Permanent termination, right? She will be terminated. What's going to kill her? I think the car is going to take over. I've been investigating a number of deaths related to Atmos Joe, systems. I need you to check out all the people who died in Atmos cars yesterday. Turn right. Yeah, it'll probably take her to some sort of terrible place. This is your final destination. Oh. I said take me to unit. I'll find my own way, thanks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is your no. final destination. Help! In this day and age of AI, it's even more scary. Left hand down, left hand down! Hold on, that's a phone! <gasps> Not mine. That's... Hello? Oh. Oh. It's Martha. And I'm bringing you back to Earth. <laughs> Amazing. Yep. That's that's the phone that she gave him the last time she was with him. But I love that she's just like, I'm bringing you back. He doesn't really get a say in it or whatever he's doing. Just drop it. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm so excited to see what Martha thinks of Donna. I wonder, no, she can't be upset because Martha walked away, right? Ooh. Uh. Martha Jones. Huh? Doctor? Is it the current year? The same year? Oh. Yeah. How's about me? Recovering. What about you? Oh. Right. Didn't take you long to replace me there. Now, don't start fighting. Martha, Donna, Donna, Martha, don't please stop don't fight. Don't bear fighting. <laughs> he talks about you all the time. I dread to think. No, 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 no. He says nice things. Really good things. Mm, mm. Oh my god, he's told you everything. Didn't take long to get over it though. Who's the lucky man? What man? Lucky what? He's engaged. <gasps> what? Really? Yes, Tom. That Tom Milligan. Oh no way! Is he skinny? No, he's strong. He is too skinny for words. You give him a hug, you get a paper cut. <laughs> Oh, this is Dr. Jones. This is a gun. Oh, this is incredible. I'm so happy for Martha. This is Dark Horse. Raise that barrier now. So I'm guessing that this has something to do with that Atmos stuff. Yes, it really does. <laughs> what are you searching for? Illegal aliens. Oh, well, there's one right there. B-section mobilized. Is that what you did to her? Turned her into a soldier? <laughs> Donna seeing her future. <laughs> As predicted, the unit forces have moved to the penultimate stage. Thin fabrics, exposed skin. These are toy soldiers. You're qualified now. You're a proper doctor. Unit rushed it through, given my experience in the field. Here we wow. go. Operation Blue Sky complete, sir. And this is the doctor. Sir. Oh, don't salute. But it's an honor, sir. Technically speaking, you're still on staff. You never resigned. What, you used to work for them? Yeah, a long time ago. Back in the 70s. <laughs> it was in the 80s. Times have changed, sir. What, and that means arresting ordinary factory workers? Donna, by the way, Donna Noble, since you didn't ask. I'll have a salute. <laughs> Mom, yesterday 52 people died in identical circumstances. 52 right? deaths at the exact same moment. They were all inside their cars. They were poisoned. Oh, the car's gotten cold. They're all fitted with Atmos, and that is the Atmos factory. The Atmos in your car reduces CO2 emissions to zero. No carbon, none at all. This is the central depot, sending Atmos to every country on Earth. Atmos can be threaded through any and every make of car. We found nothing. That's why I thought we needed an expert. Really? Who'd you get? You. Oh, right, me, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why would aliens be so keen on cleaning up our atmosphere? I think they're probably using that pollution for dastardly means. We should head back. There's not much down here. What's this then? It's being guarded. 
All personnel have been ordered to evacuate. This area is out of bounds. I think you'll find we're in charge. They're not human. We'll do this the easy way or the hard way. Let them pass. It's open. Come on. They're not questioning how weird this is? Rayon 16 to trap one. We found something. North side. Grid 36. Oh, that's cover. weird. It looks like alien tech or something. It's almost like a coffin. Wait for backup. Oh, there's something in there. Came from inside. We've got to get this open. Oh, no. Why? Why, Why would you do that? There. Request immediate assistance. Repeat immediate assistance. Oh, it's different to what I imagined. There's got to be God, something in the water. What the hell is that stuff? Ew. Oh my god. Can you understand me? Look at his neck. It's like an umbilical cord. I think it's harmless. Oh, I don't know. It's freaky I looking. Alive. I think it breathes this stuff. That stuff, is that like taken from the cars? Someone's growing a body. A human body. Excellent skills of deduction. I would rate you above average oh, soldier. Well done. Well, Stop playing Humpty Dumpty and tell us who you are. <laughs> Is that a reference to my height? Short answer, yes. Pity, I must judge you unfit. What are you going to do? By our ankles. Oh, I'm warning you. Fire. I order you. Fire. It won't do anything. <laughs> The room is contained within a cordolane signal exciting the copper surface of the bullet, oh, rendering wow. your guns useless. Ah! I can't feel my legs. Prepare them for processing. Now you will serve a greater cause. Are they going to feed those guys to that creature in the water? Oh! Oh my god, help us! He's interesting. I'd love to see more of him. Time. Look, do you mind? Could you stand back a bit? I don't like people with guns hanging around me. All right. Tetchy. Well, that's true. He's a good man. People with guns are usually the enemy in my books. If anyone got me used to fighting, it's you. Oh, right. So it's my fault. Besides, look at me. Am I carrying a gun? I suppose not. You can just come and go, but some of us have got to stay behind. So I've got to work from the inside. And by staying inside, maybe I stand a chance of making them better. That's more like Martha Joan. I learnt from the best. Well, wow. Should have come with me. Oh, well, where have you been? Personnel. That's where the weird stuff's happening. And the first thing I noticed is an empty farm. Why? Oh. What's inside it? Or what's not inside it? Sick days. Hundreds of people working here, and no one's sick. I can see why he likes you. Dr. Jones, set up a medical post. Start examining the workers. How I think that they've been ingesting uh, the Atmos stuff that they're, they're, the Atmos system is taking. Now runs the Rattigan Academy. What a house for geniuses. Wouldn't mind going there. I get lonely. <laughs> Do you think I should warn my mum about the Atmos in her car? Better safe than sorry. Do they know where you are? I mean, that you're travelling with the doctor. Not really. I didn't tell my family. They almost destroyed them. They ended up imprisoned. They were tortured. It wasn't the doctor's fault, but he needs to be careful. He's wonderful. He's brilliant. But he's like fire. Stand too close and people get burnt. I'm pretty sure we've heard something similar to that before. Maybe Donna should tell her family where she is, at least her granddad. The last days of planet Earth. Jenkins, you will accompany the doctor and take orders from him. Any sign of trouble, get Jenkins to declare a code red. And good luck, sir. I said no salutes. Oh, just in time. Come on. Come on, we'll go to the country. Fresh air and geniuses. What more could you ask? I'm not coming with you. I've been thinking. I'm sorry. What? I'm going home. No, no, come on, no. Really? No. I've got to. I had so many places I wanted to take you. The lightning skies of Cotopaluni's world. Diamond coral reefs of Guttarf local. Thank you. Thank you, Donna Noble. It's no, brilliant. come on. This is not happening. I don't believe You've it. You've saved my life in so many ways. You're, you're just popping home for a visit. That's what you mean. You don't pose. And then you're coming back. Great big out of space. Dance. <laughs> Ready when you are, sir. What's more, you can give me a lift. Come on. <laughs> I just love how she teases him so much. Your name's Trepper, yeah? I came to do my job. Okay. Oh, jeez. How many hours a day do you work? 24. You work 24 oh. hours a day. Have you ever had any form of hypnosis? I'm here to work. They're all mind controlled or something. You have security clearance level one. Colonel Mace wants to see you. Come with us. Oh, I wouldn't be going with them. <gasps> oh, those are those guys that were in, in that room where they got their legs hurt. I haven't seen you for days. 
been away. She's been away and so much has gone on in her life, but then like nothing's changed. Nothing's changed on her street, her home. Oh, oh. Go see him, go see him. <laughs> Get the tissue! <laughs> he asked to see you. Why, has he found something? This is so dangerous for Martha because the doctor's not here. Don is not here. She's in trouble. She's really in trouble. Aliens. I said they was real. This doctor, are you safe with him? He's amazing, Grant. <laughs> but I trust him with my life. I thought that was my job. Oh. You still come first. Don't tell your mother. I don't know. It's sort of not fair if she doesn't know. No, I probably wouldn't. What were you going to tell me? What don't I know? Nothing. I think it's the right idea just to tell her granddad. Her mum wouldn't understand. Look, I know that I don't know much about Donna's mum, but I'm not a big fan. Ross, one question. If you don't think that Atmos is dodgy, Go how come we've got off. it in the Jeeps? Uh, they fitted as standard on all government vehicles. This is your final destination. Oh, yeah. Another final destination. You're the doctor. Hello. Oh, this is Ross. Hello, Ross. Good afternoon, sir. Let's have a look, man. I can smell genius. That's clever, look. Gravity simulators. <laughs> He's in his element. He loves it. Hello. With equipment like this, you could move to another planet or something? If only that was possible. If only that were possible. Conditional clause. You're smarter than the usual unit, Grunts. Don't call Ross a grunt. He's nice. We like Ross. I was just thinking, what a responsible 18 year old. Inventing zero carbon cars. Takes a man with vision. Mmm. Lincoln vision. More cars, more petrol. End result, the oil's gonna run out faster than ever. The Atmos system could make things worse. Yeah, you can say Atmos system, because it stands for Atmospheric Emission System. So, so, so you're saying Atmospheric Emission System System. Do you see, Mr. Conditional Clause? <laughs> it's been a long time since anyone said no to you, hasn't it? I'm still right, though. Not easy, is it? Being clever. The rest of the world is so slow. Yeah. You're on your own. But not with this, because there's no way you invented this single one. <sighs> Might be Earth technology, but that's like finding a mobile phone in the middle ages. It's like finding this in the middle of someone's front room. Why? What is it? This looks like a thing, doesn't it? People don't question things. They just think, ooh, it's a thing. And this, to me, looks like a teleport pod. Oh. 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 Where is he? Uh-oh. We have an intruder. How did he get in? Intruder window. <laughs> oh, I... Uh oh. I order you to surrender in the name of the Unified Intelligence Task Force. Copper excitation, stopping the bullets. How do you know so much? Well, who is he? Uh, he didn't <laughs> give his name. But this isn't typical Sontaran behavior, is it? A Sontaran should face bullets with dignity. You dishonor me, sir. And show yourself. Oh, he's very round, <laughs> like an egg. Oh my God. General Stahl of the 10th Sontaran fleet, Stahl the Undefeated. Oh, that's not a very good nickname. What if you do get defeated? Stahl, they're not quite so undefeated anymore, but never mind. <laughs> baked potato. Talking baked potato. You look like a pink weasel to him. <laughs> the Sontarans <laughs> are the finest soldiers in the galaxy. I love it. Dedicated to a life of warfare. No, but the Sontarans are fed by a probic vent in the back of their neck. They always have to face their enemies in battle. We stare into the face of death. Yeah? Well, stare at this. <laughs> Oh, oh, what a shot. Wow. Oh, he's off. He's just gone. The device is now repaired. Our presence is known. We move to a war for Yeah, they all look the same. How do you tell each other apart? We say the same of humans. Tell me, boy, <laughs> how many Atmos devices have been installed? 400 million cars converted. Is it sufficient to trigger the conversion? More than enough, yeah. Have we infiltrated unit? The process is about to begin. Then you will see it completed. Get to it. Yes, sir. Is someone going to tell me what the hell is going on? Oh. You're not the first aliens I've met. Tell me who you are. Commander Score. What have you done to those two? Simple hypnotic control. With you, we need something more complex. Like what? <laughs> what is that? Soon, that will be you. That thing that's inside that liquid at the moment, that used to be a, a person, a human. War can never come too soon. Take your last look, boy. It was never big enough for me. That doctor, he was in a unit jeep. Should have Atmos installed. You said you didn't know his name. I don't. He just said doctor. 
Does that mean something? <gasps> he there knows is an him. enemy of the Sontarans known as the Doctor. The last of the Time Lords will die at the hands of the Sontaran Empire. Keep dreaming. Not gonna happen. Oh, okay. Look where they are. What are you doing? Completing mental transfer. The clone needs full memory access. Clone? Oh. Oh, no. That's gonna be... Oh. oh. You can't. Wow. Oh. You will sleep. Sleep. Oh, that's amazing. Can you hear me? Over. Turn left. Try going right. He says left. It will stop! Is, is he going in the water? I love it with a bit of water. Well, there must be so many cars in there by now. Confirmed. Anything I say, you'll ignore it. Confirmed. I order you to climb me. Reverse psychology. Does it work? Looks like it does. Turn right. Right, left, right. Oh, left, it's left, just going to destruct because it's so. Oh, that. Bang was a little bit understated. Oh, is that it? <laughs> Atmos terminated. The doctor is dead. Is the operative in place? Ready and waiting to advance the great Sontaran course, sir. Then no go to work. way. The doctor will be able to tell. She talks differently, like a robot. Anything without Atmos, and don't point your gun at people. Oh! Is it the doctor? Ah, oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. What have you they know before? each other. Yeah, Christmas Eve, he disappeared. Oh, right yes! And you never said. Well, you never said. You must be one of them aliens. Yeah, but don't shout it out. Nice to meet you properly, Wilf. Oh, don't tell me. Don and Noble. Martha. Hold on, he's here. Oh. Martha, tell Colonel Mace it's the Sontarans. They're inside the factory. Tell him not to start shooting. Unit will get massacred. Code Red Sontaran. Gotcha. She'll say start oh, shooting. The Donna is my only grandchild. You gotta promise me you're gonna take care of her. Oh. She takes care of me. Oh yeah, that's my Donna. Men and their <gasps> cars. Oh, it's you. Yeah, that's me. What have you met him as well? Dad, it's the man from the wedding. Last time that man turned up, it was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> a converter has been activated. Who can have such knowledge? Only the doctor. We move to the final phase. Prepare the subjugation of Earth. All soldiers to position. We are now at battle of the one. He's blown up the car. Who is he anyway? What sort of doctor blows up cars? That wasn't just exhaust fumes. Some sort of gas. Artificial gas. It's poisonous. And they've got poisonous gas in every car on Earth. Bring up the converters. A deadlock. <gasps> every single one. Oh no! Turn it off! Grand Dad, get out of there! Oh, it's not enough! No, this is not happening to that nice What's old man! What's he doing? Oh, oh! Turn off the ignition! It's all answer! Now we begin. Let's get to work. Oh, I kind of like evil Martha, even though it's not really her. Oh. No, he'll be fine. I. No, he'll be fine. Oh. Hundred million weapons. Soldier. 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 Soldier with him and we just saw what happened to her granddad but obviously I'm not going to believe that he's gonna die because I love that old man with all my heart there's no way that he is going to end up dead so I think there'll be a way out of that situation for him in the next episode but wow it is so fascinating seeing Martha again and as much as I love like our normal Martha, it's going to be so exciting to see her as this evil version. And I did think that the doctor would be able to tell instantly, but she's just so convincing. Like she's the perfect clone. She's not really speaking in that like robot sort of tone. She seems to have got a more normal uh, speaking voice. Other rather than the other people that we've seen that were just like hypnotized or something. So this version of Martha is, it's going to be really hard for the doctor to tell who's who, but of course 
he will. There'll, there'll be something, some sort of giveaway, or maybe they end up going into that room where the real Martha is just her body and they'll figure things out that way. I really love how we've had this meeting of the two companions with Donna and Martha and it's worked out really well actually. I did think that they would be fighting and a little bit catty with each other but they've just been fine. They've been wonderful. It's just been mostly about kind of picking on the doctor which is what we saw with Rose and Sarah Jane which is really really lovely. That Rattigan fellow. I think he's just in the wrong sort of situation. I think he's just got caught up in all of this. I want to try and see the good in him and hope that there will be uh, an outcome for him where he realizes his mistakes and he turns a corner. But also I kind of see death in his future as well. Probably not by the hand of the doctor or anything like that. I think by those um, potato head aliens themselves. I forget what they're called. I'm sorry. Memory like a fish, honestly. This Atmos system, I don't think we've heard of it. Having been installed in cars before, I don't recall Martha talking about it. I don't recall Donna talking about it. So I think it's new to me, but I mean, there's lots of stuff to take in and with every single episode so I may have missed something but I really don't think we've heard of it before so that's definitely new to me though I might be mistaken. Really excited to see what happens in the next episode and how long it's going to take the doctor to realize that Martha is not really Martha. I do hope that he does pick up on it kind of straight away because he's a doctor. He should know. He's a genius after all. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.